गुड इवनिंग सर माय नेम इज सुभाष कांबळे आय एम लेक्चरर फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट थाना कॉलेज इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ युअर लेक्चर यू सेट दॅट कुरान टॉक्स अबाउट गिव्हिंग पीस टू ह्युमॅनिटी आय माय क्वेश्चन इज दॅट इफ इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट पीस देन वाय सो मेनी यंग मेन फ्रॉम व्हेरियस कंट्रीज आर फॉलोइंग टू द प्रे ऑफ टेररिझम इन द नेम ऑफ जिहाद वॉट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जिहाद थँक यू सर The brother asked a good question that if Islam and Quran speak about peace to humanity then how come there are so many young muslim and other muslims from different countries who are fighting and who are talking about jihad what is the concept of jihad as far as the word jihad is concerned jihad comes from the arabic word jihada which means to strive it means to struggle so jihad basically means to strive against struggle jihad does not mean holy war holy war if you translate into arabic means harb muqaddasa there is no arabic word harb muqaddasa in the quran or any of the sahih hadith this is a mistranslation by the media and the orientalists there is no holy war jihad does not mean holy war jihad means to strive to struggle furthermore in islamic context it means to strive and struggle to improve the humanity it means to strive and struggle to bring peace in humanity it also means to strive and struggle in the battlefield in self defense it also means to strive and struggle against oppression jihad basically means to strive and struggle now coming to your question that how come then so many youngsters from different countries they are fighting point number 1 there are possibilities and it's a fact that some of the muslims they are being misled by the anti social element that fight it then islam etc misquoting out of context but this is a small percentage the major reason according to me is how the media portrays like in india we very often read in the newspaper that the muslim terrorist in kashmir killing so many people headline regularly you read I was called to Kashmir the first time in 2003. And I was thinking should I go or not? Should I go or not? So much of chaos. First time in Kashmir the government gave permission after 14 years to hold a public lecture and the gathering was somewhat big, 100,000 people in polo grounds in the city of Srinagar. And when I went there there were guards you know with guns and all around me and I was expecting but there wasn't much problem next day i went to assam i landed on the airport there were four guards with guns machine guns. what is this there is killing in assam killing in assam where it takes place and there if i did not have the guard they wouldn't be here to give the talk but in the papers where do we hear about the killing going on in assam there are more people being killed in assam than in kashmir who hears about the ltt you know the ltt the tamilians they are called as tamil tigers they are not called as hindu terrorist why if kashmiri muslim do it they are called as muslim terrorist if the hindus and assam do it it's a local problem if the ltt does it local problem in india you ask anyone who has the knowledge of law and order he will tell you the maximum killing is done by the maoist how many time do we read in the newspaper if we read in the newspaper in news brief okay so many people killed in assam news brief Muslim do it headlines why there are black sheep in every community then one person came and told me you know you should understand this is a problem of land assam is not a problem of land it is the kashmir which is a problem of land both the countries are fighting and the poor kashmiris are being they are being harassed neither here neither there if you go to afghanistan that's a problem of land the americans have come there and you call them terrorist see what's happening in palestine the jews see the jews were kicked out by hitler kicked out from germany the palestinians the arab cousins they said ahlan wa sahlan you are most welcome in a house now imagine suppose a traveler is homeless without a roof you allow him to come to your house after a few days he kicks you out and at the doorstep you are saying he has taken my house give my house back they call you terrorist what terrorist so you realize this is the media it is media 
what we realize what's happening in Bosnia the Muslims correct I do agree with you the Muslims are coming in the picture but they are being harassed where is humanity what have we done for the people of Palestine for the people of Iraq weapons of mass destruction I'm not in favor of Saddam Hussein I don't consider a good Muslim but there were problems when Saddam was ruling after the Americans came the problem that multiplied correct so what are you talking about weapons of mass destruction? So what we realize, brother, it is the media. The Muslims are being harassed. They are the sufferers, and you call them terrorists. So that's the reason. But there are black sheep in the community also. But the black sheep are a minority. It's a minority. The major thing is the media. You know IRA, Irish Republican Army in UK. It is a fight between the Catholics and the Protestants. No one calls them as Catholic terrorists. Why? More than 100 years. But Tony Blair and the new prime minister are more worried about Muslim terrorists. They aren't worried about IRA, which has killed hundreds of people. How many bomb blasts have they done? They are more having secret meetings about how to stop, how to stop Muslim terrorists. And it's very common. Any politician, he wants the vote bank. The new prime minister came, then there was Jasko bombing. You know Sabil Ahmed? Have you heard Sabil Ahmed? Very good. I have heard him, I haven't seen him. It came in the Indian papers. You know Sabil Ahmed? Sabil Ahmed was a fan of Dr. Zakir Naik. And he organized Dr. Zakir Naik's lecture in Bangalore in the full article on terrorism. Then they talk about Sabil Ahmed. Then they talk about Dr. Zakir Naik. Why? Because Dr. Zakir Naik is popular. Article will carry more weight. Then they continue saying that Dr. Zakir Naik, however, is vehemently against terrorism. They include my name in the article. You know the, the issue of Lal Masjid in Pakistan? CDs were found of Dr. Zakir Naik. So you should be happy. When the Indian press is saying Dr. Zakir Naik is against terrorism, you should be happy that Sabil Ahmed has made DVDs. You should be happy that Lal Masjid has made DVDs. If I'm against terrorism, so you should realize that maybe there were tens of thousands of Muslims who had done terrorist act because they are my fans, they have stopped doing terrorism. Because if a person is sick, he has to go to a doctor. Correct? So you can't say that sick people are going to the hospital. A sick person should go to the hospital. So if you assume that these are terrorist organizations and they're hearing my lectures, the Indian government should be happy. When Dr. Zakir Naik speaks against terrorism, they should be happy that these people are listening to me. I may not be able to convince everyone. But at least quite a few I'm convincing. But in the article, they write my name for weightage. You know, so it's become, if you write against Islam, the chances the article will be selected very easy. And that's common. Same as Kushman Singh. You know Kushman Singh? Now his age is 94. Year before last he wrote an article against me. Couple of weeks back in November he wrote an article against me. He says, in the first article he mentioned, that I watch Dr. Zakir Naik's program religiously every day. He right. He praises me, talks about my memory, and then criticizes me in his style. Again, he wrote an article that in Delhi, there was a book exhibition, and the hot seller was Dr. Zakir Naik's book on answers to the 20 common questions asked by non-Muslims. Oh, that person has fantastic memory, blah, 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 but... I will reply to four of his questions. And he replies to pork, to alcohol, to polygamy, as well as parda, hijab. And you read the article. Time will not permit him to speak about everything. In pork, I say that it is the most shameless animal, more than 70 diseases. It is the only animal that invites its friends to have sex with the mate. So I said, if you eat pig, you behave like pig. It is the only animal that invites it's friends to have sex with the maid. He said, I did not know that. And he says that, I don't know the Western countries, they're having pig, and I don't see any epidemic or disease. See, doctors tell us today that don't go to a prostitute, you'll have AIDS. But everyone that goes to prostitute does not get AIDS. The percentage is small. The minority of the people get. Similarly, everyone that has spoke doesn't get these diseases. But today, more than 50% of the Americans, they are suffering from hypertension. And one of the causes is because of pig eating. He talks about alcoholism. Dr. Zakir Naik says, because of alcohol, you have so many diseases. 
So he says, Quran is not against alcohol, it's against getting intoxicated. Now he's trying to interpret the Quran. This is the media. And he says, I am of the age of 94 years old. I am drinking every day in my life. I've never got intoxicated. I've never got sick. And I've never hurt any individual. Now all these three things, age of 94, has never got intoxicated. I know so many common friends who tell me that they have seen him intoxicated so many times. Never seen a doctor. Maybe he forgot, age of 94. He has never hurt anyone. He has hurt me. So what we realize that when you write articles against Islam, against people who are famous, you get good readership, you get good viewership. So similarly, you realize that today that the image that we have of Muslims are terrorists, some may be fighting for the freedom of the country. Imagine if I tell you that the British government said Bhagat Singh was a terrorist. Was Bhagat Singh a terrorist? Was he or not? Yes, sir. Was Bhagat Singh a terrorist or not? His act was like terrorist. But was he a terrorist according no. to you? According to me also, he was not a terrorist. But just because the British government says that Bhagat Singh is a terrorist, that doesn't mean I have to agree with the British government. What we have to realize, this is major, the ploy of the media. That is the reason this talk was based on that, so that we can expect peace. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. My beloved brothers and sisters, this non-Muslim man asked Dr. Zaki Naik, if Quran is telling about peace, then why the Muslims are doing jihad, they are in war, and they are being called terrorists? Alhamdulillah, Dr. Zakir Naik has given him the answer eloquently and made him understand the real facts and figures behind it. Many a times the Western media, they brush the Muslims with different brush and they do yellow journalism and they try to spread false news against the Muslims. Actually, all over the world you can see Muslims are the ones who are oppressed. They are not the oppressors. They are being oppressed in many different parts of the world. And when the Muslims, they try to defend themselves, at that time they have been called terrorists. In reality, Muslims are the most peace-loving people. My dear brothers and sisters, when these non-Muslims, when they come to you, when they ask you questions, don't be angry with them. Try to be nice with them, try to be kind with them, be generous with them, and try to make them understand about Islam, try to give them da'wah, call them towards Islam with peace. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you abundantly. And dear brothers and sisters, always give da'wah, whether online or offline, and work on your character and conduct. Have the best character and conduct. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had the best character and conduct and he was sent as a mercy to the whole world. Show your generosity, your kindness, your mercy towards the non-Muslims and towards every human being. When you share this good knowledge, when you share this Islamic knowledge, when you share the message of peace, and when anyone accepts Islam through your da'wah, it's a win-win situation. Any good deed he or she does, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you abundantly for that.